Welcome to Arts and Crafts with Steve McDonald. New videos every Sunday and sometimes midweek. Uh, today I'm going to do a resin string pull. Let's see how it goes. Okay, today I'm going to try my first resin string pull. I've got some wool that I've cut to um, a rough length. And the colours I'm going to be using are, I'm going to use a acrylic um, ultramarine blue and white for the background and then the string pull flowers I'm going to be using a yellow a red and a gold not done this before don't know if it's going to work um, so we will just have a look right I'm just going to prepare my resins and I'll be right back so this approach was um, inspired by Billy from Archangel Art Studios check out the videos on YouTube they're brilliant uh, they're a lovely him and Gina, a really great couple, uh, and they do some brilliant art as well, without a shadow of a doubt. So I've just mixed up my blue. I did mix up a previous batch, but unfortunately the acrylic that I put into it was there was something wrong with it, and it didn't blend in. It went all lumpy. Let me show you. So, look. So I couldn't use that. So that's a waste of resin. And I hate wasting resin when it's over a hundred pounds a bag uh, or a bottle. It upsets me. <laughs> so I put my blue on. So I'm now going to give this a spread over. Uh, and I've mixed this up using blue mica alcohol ink and just the resin so I'm just going to give this a spread uh, I may not be putting enough on here um, to get the coverage but we'll see it's a learning curve for me this is but I really do I primed this board it's just a piece of MDF I primed this with um, normal white primer so let's get this in here okay just giving it a rough hole going over at the moment i don't need to worry too much because it will self level um, and i'm going to add some white to it in a second as well um, so that'll help now the white i've just mixed up with resin and um was it here there that God, don't need to be losing any of them now the white I've just mixed up with resin and white acrylic paint so there we are just splodge that on okay and this is just the background for the flowers not a bright white perhaps I could have put a little bit more resin in it but that will do for now and then I'm just gonna let that sit for a second and now I'm gonna just go over it with my heat gun this has worked two ways it'll heat the resin up allowing me to move the white around a little bit. I don't want it to move around too much. It'll also pop and fill any of those nasty bubbles that are in there. There you go, as you can see. Those bubbles are coming to the top. Keep moving it around because you don't want to burn the resin because it can burn quite easily so I'm hoping for that just to look like it's a bit of a cloudy sky yeah. Yeah, I did have kind of an idea of what I wanted to go for and that's why I wanted it quite a light colour as well and that's why I ensured that 
I primed it with a white because it's quite a translucent colour this. There we go, I'm really happy with that. Now be careful when I put that down, I don't want to set a place of light. Had enough fun with flames the other day with me alcohol inks. So that's how that should be. So I'm just going to mix up my colours and put my string in it. I've mixed up the colours. Uh, here they are. So this is the red one. As I said, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Uh, and even if it's going to work. It worked for Billy, but he is really quite an expert for all these things. This is the first time I've actually done it. So, oh, oh, God, I'm making a mess already. So, where do I want that? So, I want that like there. So I'm going to have that in there like that. A bit there. I'm going to leave that one on there, like so. I am getting this everywhere already. <laughs> I can hear my dog playing outside. that one which is the yellow one and this one is going to be the gold them in there so I'm just going to leave them in there for a couple of minutes as well I don't know whether I should or whether I should be pulling them straight out I think I'll have to pull them quite slowly So hopefully they're going to work. Now I'm going to pull them onto a piece of paper because I don't want this mess everywhere. Let's have a look. Okay. Yeah, I'm pulling them slowly. I'm trying to keep the string coming out of quite a central area. Now that one's come out lovely. That has come out nice. I'm really pleased with that. Whether it will stay like that, who knows. Let's do the same for this yellow one. Again, trying to keep it quite central. Where it's pulling from. A little bit more subtle. Pleased with that one too. And now the gold one. And again, these were mixed up with just acrylic paints and some mica that I had. The red one seems to have come out without a doubt the best. Maybe I squeezed a little bit too much of the um, resin off. 
the gold ones. I didn't squeeze any off the red ones. I'm gonna try and do this, see if I can get another one over the top of that um, gold one. Not, not the yellow one. I quite like that yellow one, but over this gold one. So let's just give that paint a bit stir. Starting to set up a bit now, the paint. And I'm gonna have quite a bit of resin left over from this, but I'm not worried because I'm gonna just pour it into a coaster mode mold and make a coaster. Because I do like my coasters. Um, let's put all that in there. Yeah, I squeezed quite a lot of that resin off that um, gold one. I kind of did no, virtually nothing off the red one, a little bit off the yellow one, and then loads off the gold one, just to see what would happen. Okay. How much am I doing? Oh, look. I am so. Oh, I am so messy. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I'm the messiest individual. Put that there, out of the way. And I've got this running on my silicon mat. Underneath that, I've got some brown paper, and underneath that, I've got some black um, plastic. So um, whatever happens, it's going to come up nice and easy. Right, I think that's had enough soaking. Now this is either going to destroy the picture or improve it. I don't think there's going to be a middle ground for this. Oh, I'm making, oh, I'm getting it everywhere. Right, let's try and get it on there, how we kind of have it. Okay, so there we go. We'll leave that on there a few seconds just to Weight down. As I'm not going to be doing any more to that, I'm going to be using that resin mould to pour the remainder of my resin in. Just to see what happens. While wow, that's sitting there like that. Hopefully, that will come out. What I have noticed is the gold in this, the gold and the bronze um, acrylic inks with this particular resin makes it set really quickly. As I'm pouring it out now, I can feel the difference in the gold, how quickly that one's set or cure in, in comparison to the other two colours. So it definitely goes to show that depending on what you add to your resin will change the way it cures. As well. So let's pop that in that mould. Right. Let's get a bit of kitchen roll, the kitchen paper, so we try and be less messy. Let's see if that makes any di any real difference. Fairly sure if that is, yeah, it is leaving quite a bit more gold on. I think maybe the metallic colours aren't the best ones to do it with, but to say overall I am really really pleased with that now I've got a lump of something there that I'm taking out with my tweezers um, yeah I think overall I'm really pleased with that I think that's come out really well I think it just needs me to just pop around the edges with my runoff make sure that the edges are coated I have put tape underneath this as well so any spots 
should come off although what I do find is it doesn't stick to the corners very well I don't know why whether it's the way I'm sticking it down or what and last time I used masking tape and this time I've used electrical tape so I might have to find something else to uh, do that with because I'm not getting the finish underneath that I would like which is really annoying when you've gone over your work and you've tried your best so if anybody's got any suggestions of what I could use if masking tape and electrical tape don't work I'd really appreciate that I'd really appreciate your advice um, on that so leave that in the comments that'd be great And there we go. All done. Now we're now going to take these gloves off. Zoom into that picture a little bit. And that's the picture done. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this where you can. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.